So I look at this, I can do this. This red color one is a good, good way. Or let's try this. Okay, how about this? If I were to square both sides. So if I were to square both sides, I will have a 64x squared, then 625 minus 50x. It is definitely easier to differentiate as compared to this dA dx. If I were to differentiate it directly, it's easier to differentiate. So I have a, a square, this is equal to, uh, I can factorize this, I'll factorize 25 out. So this will give me 6, 0. And this will be 25x uh, squared minus away 2x to the power of 3. If I were to multiply x squared in. So from here, I'm going to differentiate it with respect to x. Implicit differentiation. So differentiating this with respect to x, I will have this dA dx. This is equal to 1600. Zero. Then here I will have a 50x minus away 6x squared. Which means that a dA dx, this is equal to 1600. Zero, zero multiply by 25x minus 3x squared. And then from here, I'm going to let dA dx be equal to 0. I'm using exactly the same concept. So letting dA dx be equal to 0 because a happened to be multiplied to this, so the whole thing will become 0. So I will have a 1600. 25x minus 3x squared is equal to 0. So if you were to solve for this, x is going to be equal to 25 over 3. Okay, x cannot be equal to 0. So x is equal to 25 over 3. But like what we have mentioned, even if I manage to get just one realistic value for x, I must still verify whether this x is going to cause a to be a maximum. So I'm going to verify. And of course, for something that is like this, maybe using the first derivative is good. Okay, but I want to show you, we can actually still use a second derivative. So I'm going to take uh, this. Okay, I'm going to take this and I'm going to differentiate it one more time. So if I will take this and differentiate it one more time, then from here, from here, it will be from here, right? If I will to differentiate it one more time, it will be a d square a dx square plus dA dx times dA dx because I'm doing a product rule is equal to 1600 25 6x. Okay, it, it, it looks complicated but it's actually very easy to execute. That's why I personally don't like to do this in an exam if it is possible. It's very, very easy to execute because when x is equal to 25 over 3, when x is equal to 25 over 3, you know dA dx is equal to 0. Okay, so this entire expression here, right, will just disappear. So it will be just a d square a dx square is going to be equal to, okay, I'm going to write it on the plus 0, okay, because this is going to be 0. It's equal to 1600 0, 0, 25 minus 6 times of 25 over 3. So d square a dx square, this is going to work out to be equal to minus 4000 divided by a. This is less than 0, therefore I know that when x is equal to 25 over 3, a is at its maximum. Mm -hmm.